When you travel, do you ever just feel free and liberated, like your guards are down? You're adventurous and spontaneous, and willing to try things that you normally wouldn't. This is why I've always made it a goal of mine to travel at least once a year. It didn't have to be far, and it didn't have to cost a lot of money, but it would be somewhere different. It puts into perspective the different aspects of your own life and things that you may have taken for granted. Each place is a different chapter of your own book, and at each destination, you're flipping the pages of a new story, discovering and piecing together experiences and knowledge that's special and unique to you. And so you learn things you can't unlearn, and you see things you can't unsee. You discover and you grow. In the next few months, I'll be heading to San Francisco, then to Bangkok, Hong Kong, and lastly Japan. So today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys a method I use to pack light and enjoy the journey ahead. So let's go. <laughs> In that little introduction, I'm gonna be traveling quite a bit in the next month or so, which I'm so excited about. So I thought I would make this video and share with you guys what I pack in my carry-on luggage. So I'll be showing you some of my tips that I use for like clothes and also for makeup and just like the basic essentials that you need for travel. Today I'm using my away luggage. It has a lock combination, it's really really light, and it has these great compartmentalization options. So I'm gonna show you guys later. Okay, so let's start off with clothes. When I travel and I pack my clothes, I like to roll them up. So first you just fold it like this so the sleeves are inside. So then you just kind of roll it up. So obviously you do this on a flat surface. I'm just trying to like show you guys. But yeah, really like squish it down and roll it up. And I find this way really maximizes the space that you have in any suitcase. And it's so compact and it's so easy to find everything. And I also do this with my jeans and my sweaters because all of them are really versatile and I can kind of mix and match them with my tops and kind of dress them up and down. And I think that's like one of the most important things when you're packing clothes for going overseas is that you can mix and match them so that they can be a bit more dressier or they can be really casual. So that's how I pack half this carry-on suitcase. It flips into half so you have kind of like 50-50. So at the very top of the luggage there's actually this little zip compartment and out comes a little bag. This little compartment is really awesome because it's so compact and you know if you don't need it you don't have to use it but I like to put my undergarments in there. I use this to put like my old socks because you don't want to like confuse it with your clean ones right so I think this is really awesome to just have in there and then you just put that in a separate bag and you don't have to worry about it and then I flip it over and then in the middle is your kind of electronic compartment so in this compartment I like to put in my laptop my chargers and also in there already is the charger for the battery with this luggage there's actually a USB port where you can actually charge your phone or charge your iPad or whatever um, it's so awesome because if you don't have you know your like external battery pack or if that runs out you can just sit at the airport and you know charge your phone from your suitcase it's so awesome so the little charger thing is I put that in the middle compartment so moving on to the other half of the luggage this is where I put kind of the other things like shoes accessories bags and makeup I like to bring at least two shoes because you need one for like a daily wear and it's really comfortable I like to put the socks inside the sneakers and this will just once again it's like a little hack I guess to maximize your space I like to bring a canvas bag I just kind of cover the shoes with that so it doesn't get dirty or you know the shoes don't dirty the other things that I put on top and then also when I'm packing my carry-on luggage, I like to bring a smaller bag. You know for like when you're traveling or whatever, you don't always want to carry a full-on backpack and you just need like the basic essentials, right? Like traveling light is the key here. Then of course glasses because I'm blind. Moving on to makeup, I think this is like a really important one. So obviously because it's a carry-on bag, you don't, you can't bring too much cream and liquid. Otherwise it'll just get confiscated and there have been so many times where my things have just been like taken and I'm just like, no! So what I like to do, I have this like clear bag. Remember to use all the like clear kind of 
makeup bags just so they can scan it and everything at the airport and what I do is collect you know those little samples that you get from like either Sephora or if you get a gift they give you little sized portions like this Laneige gel bank cream like I just collect these little samples so like this is BB cream this is a mask this is a moisturizer there's a serum that's one of my probably best hacks is just to carry and travel with all the sample products that you have <laughs> and then for the brushes because you don't want to just chuck them all in together I think it's a really good idea to get like these kind of makeup pouch things and they keep them from like moving everywhere and this one's really great because it like covers the brush and then you just kind of roll it up and it's all really compact and it just makes everything so much easier and then for makeup I think it's really important to just like stick with the basics I travel with this bag here it's really sturdy um, and once again it's clear and I just bring one makeup palette, so this is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar, this is my Hoola Bronzer, one foundation, one blush, and then I carry a nighttime lipstick, which is like a darker shade, and then I also carry like an everyday my lip up better kind of shade. And yeah, basic essentials. And then I'll carry some sort of like cap with me. And especially if you're on a really long flight, like the one I'm going to take to Asia soon, it's gonna be like I don't even want to know it's like at least 15 hours so having a cap when you get off the plane and your hair is like a grease ball is probably the best thing ever just to like hide that situation and then of course I like to bring a really big travel wallet this fits like you know obviously you need your passport and it's got these little compartments inside so you can put your cash in there there's four card slots here there's like another six card slots here there's another compartment and I have band-aids in there for some reason um, and then there's another zip folder and then you know you have like all this so it just makes it really easy to put your plane tickets to put any travel documents and your passport and your cash and everything like that and just to have it like all in one place is really convenient so you don't have to like lose your mind thinking oh my god where is that so yeah that's about it. So then my luggage has this little TSA approved lock. So you don't have to bring a key. You just slot the little zips inside this little like uh, thing <laughs> and then it locks it itself. It has the USB port, which is so convenient. So awesome. I'm like in love with it. And it's also really, really light. And I got mine in green because I think it's just kind of different. And I thought this was really subtle. And from far away, you can't even tell it's green until you like look up close and you're like, oh, that's interesting. <laughs> but there's like a ton of other colors if you guys are on the hunt for like a new suitcase, I would definitely check it out. So that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I highly recommend that you guys travel as well if you get the opportunity. I love it because, you know, it just like opens your eyes to different perspectives it makes you grow it makes you appreciate different aspects of life and it exposes you to different experiences that make you reflect on yourself and like you know everything you have I'm going to be vlogging the entire experience from SF to my Asia trip so if you guys have any um, suggestions as to where I'm gonna go please please leave it in the comments below because I want to know everything that I should be going to and yeah as always thank you so much for watching I hope you guys like the video give it a thumbs up if you like it and if you're new to the channel hi virtual hug <laughs> and hopefully I'll see you really soon bye so I'll leave all the information of the things I got below so you guys can pick up your own carry-on. Bon voyage! <laughs>